live. What's up? What's what's going on? What's shaking? <laughs> what's shaking? Yeah, it's been a while since I've done this. I have a bag of tools underneath me right now. So I can't like I have to I'm standing strange. <laughs> but you can't see that. So like I shouldn't even mention it. What happens beyond the cameras is not your concern. But it is it's kinda of messing with me right now. <laughs> My brother left his tools here. <clears throat> What's up? What y'all been up to? I got no music playing, so feel free to play your own music and enjoy that while you watch this, if you're watching this. Yeah. First off, these are, um... <laughs> these are Play Excess that I'm playing with right now. Uh, Flat Earthers. Flat Earthers. I'm playing with those right now. Check that out. I helped design these by the way. I drew them up on AutoCAD. That's my uh, weapon of my daily work life. I always use AutoCAD. Civil 3D. What's up, Carolyn? What you doing? So yeah, uh, I was asked to help on these, so I went ahead and drew them and uh, made a 3D model of them. And then that's why that's why I like them so much because I had something to do with them. And if you look really close, you can't tell right now. There's like the continents are all etched on both sides, but it's hard to see it on this side. But it's, there's there too because it's the world, and I guess this is like the round side, and this is the flat side. If you believe in that. <laughs> That was the inspiration for these. They're small. I don't have uh, the AO2, uh, which ones are the ones? The little ones? Uh, not, not the mini Titans, but the other ones. It's escaping me, I can't think of them right now, but AO2 has little small beads that are the shape of, uh, they have, they're a cool shape. I can't even think of them right now. I can't even think what they are. Somebody help me. These are, these are about the same size, I think, but I can't think of the name of them. <laughs> oh man, I've used all my memory. There's none left, there's just none left. But I would like to say that they are the same size. I just don't have those, so I can't compare them, but I'm pretty sure they are the same size. And because they're so small, I made a uh, button knot or Celtic knot at the end, which makes it easier to, to do bead rolls because when they're small like that, they're harder to grip. Yeah, the grays, they're, yes. Thank you, Carolyn, thank you. I think they're about the size of the grays. They're really, really tiny and small. And the grays are cool. I, I, I wanna get some grays, but that's one set. This is another set that I, I set up. And he's got three different colors. He's got gold, rose gold, and silver. And this is the other set that I have. Uh, I have three. One is on short game. This one's on a cord that I crafted. I did this. I braided this. This is a spiral wrap. And uh, I like it because it's, it's more, for me, it's it's grippy except for like right there that I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but yeah, if you ever if you ever want to uh, try different kinds of cordage, I recommend to try crafting your own because it's fun and then it feels like, you know, you accomplished something like, you know, it's it's your own creation. So here's what I was gonna show you. Here's what I was gonna show you. What's up, Ferica? What are you doing? Okay, Ray, I gotta, I gotta say I love Ray. Ray is cool, Ray is the man, Ray is awesome. 
he gifted the Slingerettes, which is a team that I'm on, with Carolyn, who's here with us, and Ashley, who created it. And uh, he gifted these to us so that we could show them off, which was really, really cool because I wasn't expecting that. And these are the uh, private reserves. Yeah. They dropped last night. These are the these are the ones that I got. I got the lunar or the lunar rock the lunar rock pattern. I think that's what it is. I think that's the name of it. These are the ones that I got. Carolyn got uh which ones did you get, Carolyn? You got the neon. The Neo Tokyo. What is it? And oh Ashley got oh, what did Ash get? I'm bad with names, but she got the colorful one too. So they both got colorful ones. <laughs> Aren't they awesome, Carolyn? They're awesome. And I'm I'm running short game right now, but I want to show you what's what's cool about them. Besides, like you know, the the, the shape is pretty cool. That's a different shape. That's not what MFD is is famous for. They have mostly round shapes. Except for that new thing that they did. That looks like the Sari. Is it Sari? Sari game pieces. I forget what that one's called. Okay, so this is what makes this so cool. You have your, it comes with your little axle or whatever. What do they call this? I'm just, I'm just, every word is escaping me right now. I don't even know. I'm not, I'm not the best at words today. <laughs> I've been working too hard at work. Yeah, the space needle, the space needle. Okay, that's a different shape. That's not like, you know, their usual shapes. But I wanted to show you what this does, right? And I'm sure you, if you've seen it already, their promos, you've seen how they do this. But uh, these are the weights, yeah? These are the weights that go inside, and you can you can see them protruding through here, the little cutaway. And right there, you can see that one got taken out. There's a little groove there to hold the screws, and uh, you can remove them and you can insert them as many as you want. There's well, there's three on each side. Yeah. So if you want to run less weight on one side and you want to be creative you can do that too or you can put like just one side can have all the weights and the other side can be weightless and then you can do like different types of tricks with that which kind of reminds me of like when you're running uh hydras and you want one less on the other side than you have and that just gives a little off-center balance which Believe it or not, it makes for really cool uh, tricks. So anyway, when you put it in, I'm going to show you how easy it is. <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah, so you just you screw it in, screw it, screw it. Mine's getting a little bit uh, stuck because I've been, I've been uh, bringing them, taking them in, put them in taking them out. Okay, what you want to do, and I'm going to warn all of y'all for this, you want to tighten that sucker super tight because from clacking, I have noticed, you know, with enough, enough play, enough clacks, they start to, if you don't tighten them enough, they will start to unscrew themselves and then you'll see them like making their way out. So that's um, one thing you need to be aware of is to keep, <laughs> to make sure that they are properly tuned, right? Just give a look and just make sure that they're there. You, that's not that hard to do because you don't want them flying out. And I haven't had one fly out, but I have had them unscrew because I'm kind of a weakling by nature and I don't screw things. I don't have that strength, you know, the elbow grease that you need, you know. All you manly men, I don't think you're going to have a problem with that. <laughs> but I don't know, my brother, he's really strong, and I had him tighten them for me once. And I still had one un unloosen itself, but I think it's just because 
I'm such a badass, aggressive player, yeah? That's got to be what it is, because what else could it be? <laughs> okay, I'm missing comments. What are y'all saying? Oh, Jinx is here. Jinx? Is Jinx here? Oh, yes, Ashley got the Stargazer. I couldn't remember the name. Thank you. Alan Ranch. Why did I say Axel? I don't know what I'm thinking right now. I'm just, um, I'm brain dead. I've been working way too hard. I haven't done any clips at work, which is not like me, because I usually like sneak a clip in here or there. But I've just been so swamped at work. It's just, I'm kind of brain dead right now. So please excuse me for not remembering words. <laughs> Simple things like that are like escaping me right now. Let's see. Uh, oh, they say intelligent people forget a lot. Thank you, Erica. That's very sweet. <laughs> Creative people are forgetful. That's, that's what I heard. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay, good. Carolyn has the info. She's saying each rod is one gram, so you can add up to three grams. Is it grams? Per side so genius i agree it's it's really cool to have that option on the fly like you don't have to remove the cord at all because they're on the outside of the edges you know like the body itself or whatever is where the weights come in and out and it's just really easy to replace remove uh put some in if you want more weight and uh yeah they play really good at all weights so it's like if you like them super light, you can you can run no weights, and they still have a good a good weight to play with, you know. If you want it super heavy, you can run all three on each side, so you run all six, and that's what I have right now. I have them all in there. And when I do short game, I like it to be like super heavy, just because I have better control. Uh, believe it or not, light. If you play light game, right? Is that even a term? Let's make that up, shall we? If you play a light set for whatever game you're playing, it is a lot more advanced, in my opinion, than if you use heavy weight. Because heavy is, is easier to learn on. You have your, uh, you know, momentum is there. And you don't have to struggle. When it's lighter, when you have, like, let's say you're a beginner, I recommend beginners use a heavier set if you if you uh, are new to Begley because it's just going to be easier to learn how to control your beats. When they're light and you're a beginner, then it's it's trickier to get used to it. But once you <laughs> once you're no longer a beginner, then you can up your game by lightening up your your sets to lighter weight. And that just makes it uh, more challenging because you don't have that e easy comfort of the weight is pretty much moving and you don't have to put so much effort into it. On a light set, you kind of have to put a little more swing in your play, you know what I mean? But when you get more advanced, then it's, it's not that hard. So I like to mix it up. I have like super light sets, I have super heavy sets. You know, whatever I feel like playing, what my mood is, that's what I do. And I'm able to play light, heavy, long, short. Uh, I can I can pretty much do anything. I'm kind of versatile in that way. <laughs> the Allen wrench should be interchangeable with the Tiki Rollers. Ah. Should it be? Is it? I haven't even checked that. That's a good... That's a good question, Erica. Because I have a tiki roller, and I know it came with an Allen wrench, and I haven't even, I haven't checked out. Yeah, they clack really good, right? Don't they, don't they look really clack? And I'm, I'm a loud clacker, because I'm kind of aggressive with my clacks. I like to clack it, clack it loud and clack it proud, is, is what I say. <laughs> That's what I say. Okay. Amanda's here. 
Oh, Carolyn had hers on screw too. Yeah, it, it was a thing. I don't know if it, it, it happens, but you know, that's just part of it, I guess. You know, it's, it's not that big of an, of an issue because you just have to, you know, tighten it up again. And put more torque into it, put more torque in there, and you'll see that they'll stay in a lot, a lot better. I, I notice now when I remove them, they're kind of, you know, that since I make them, you know, tighten so much that when I unscrew them, you know, they don't screw out as easily, but they have, I guess that just shows that they're really, you know, snug, which is a good thing. You want them snug. If you want them in there, you want them snug, I say. Yeah, I haven't noticed them coming out anymore. So that's a good thing. But I was just being too weak about it. I just was not, <laughs> I was not tightening them all the way. <laughs> yeah, these are cool. I, I, when I first set these up, I set them up long game. And I had a, what is it? A 275 cord that I set them up on. And and they played really good on long game. But then I changed my mind. I said, you know what? I don't have, I mean, I have some sets set up for short. And I just wanted to see what this felt like on short game. Which is why I went ahead and restrung it short game. And this is, my short game is short. My long game is long. So it's like I'm either super long or super short. But in between, I can, I can do that too. So it's, I don't have any problems. Assimilating between lengths or weights, uh, I just feel the motions. I go from the motions, and I don't let anything hinder my creativity. I, don't, I try not to limit myself. That's that's the word. I'm trying to. I can't think of words right now. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like to limit my creativity with you know any one standard and that's it I don't believe in that that's not for me I like to mix it up I get bored easily and uh, yeah it's good to cross train with different weights and different lengths I think I think that's a good thing okay I'm going to show you uh, the other stuff I got from the package which is really cool and stickers Look at that monkey. That monkey's a, a, a bad man. You know, watch out with that monkey. <laughs> I got uh, another sticker, monkey finger. I got private reserve sticker. All backwards right now. Front cam. Patch. I want to, you know what? I want to put this on like a, a hat, but not like a normal hat. Like, what do they call those? A visor. I want to get myself a visor all black and then just, whoosh, I just put one in there <laughs> and then I got this another patch which is cool I have one already on a on a jacket and oh and this is another patch which is uncaged does it say yeah uncaged that's the monkey that's the monkey don't shock the monkey and some cords cords and a couple of other cords I think came in the in the box. But yeah, thank you, Ray. Ray is sweet and Ray is cool. And uh, I want to thank him on behalf of the Slingerettes because he he didn't have to do that, but he gifted us sets of these private reserves, and I'm pleased with them. I like them. I I can say that they're really cool. I like the flat edge because it gives a good control. It gives you a good control point to, you can really feel the edge. More so, I think, than um, the round, you know, the usual round edge that, that's on the inside of your beads. And that's kind of the reason why uh, Play Excess made these interchangeable, like, 
flip you could flip them. Kind of like the flip the sides. So I can't say it. <laughs> the flip sides. You know the ones, right? What is that? Uh, is that TG? TGP? Did the flip sides? Who did the flip sides? I remember they were around. I remember they came out. And the the whole point was that you could flip them. And that's how these are. You can flip them on your setup. You can have the flat side sticking out and the roundness on the inside, or you can have the flat side on on the inside, which which I feel gives better control. Like you got that edge that you can hug onto, and which is why I like these because I got that flat side. Yes. Carolyn said it best. We appreciate them a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Ray is cool. So yeah, these, these, these are them. These are the private reserves. Yes, TGP, I knew it. The flip sides. Where you can flip them. That's cool stuff, man. I like it when you can like do stuff like that with your beads because it gives you options. And the options are always good. Options are cool, options are nice. They, they open up different areas of things that you wouldn't, you know, normally think of if it's just the same, always the same. It's, it's good to have variety. I appreciate it. So yeah, go check out these. Private reserves, private reserves. And if you do, tell me what you think of them because I like them. I think they're really cool. I can even do my two-handed stuff. Yeah, isn't it good for control? That's that's what I think, Carolyn. I think that the the flat side just gives way better control. You can really feel the edge, and you can manipulate it a lot better. You know, so that's cool. But I I like uh differences I like I like how all the all the sets that are out there and the ones that keep keep coming they're always something that's different about each and every one of them and that's really cool because you can, we're we're individuals and we all have our individual styles and gameplay you know when it comes to beggary so there's no wrong way to play there's no wrong bead to play with I think that they all have potential and they all have their strengths. And something cool about them, you know, that you can utilize. So that's a good thing. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go. I hope you had fun. I hope this kind of uh, explained a little better about the weight, the CRT, is that, what, is that what it's called? The CRT technology, which is which is totally cool. So yeah, check out Monkey Finger. Monkey Finger. Check out Play Excess too, because these are cool. I, I gotta give my love to Play Excess. Flat Earthers. Gotta give my love to Private Reserve. Play Excess. Check them out, man. Good stuff. You don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs>